Welcome back to the effects portion of the After Effects basic training series. Before I move on, I'm gonna reset my project workspace. So I'm gonna choose Reset Standard. And it's gonna ask me, I'm gonna discard changes. And that sets us back up where we left off. Now I'm gonna actually make a new composition. And I'm gonna take this mall video of this girl and drag it into this button. And this is the Make New Comp button. And what that's gonna do is make a new composition with all of the same settings as the piece of footage. So the size of the composition, the frame rate, all going to be exactly what the footage is, including the length of the piece of footage. So that's helpful if you're working on shots and you wanna quickly make a brand new comp, you don't even have to go to the new comp dialog. So in this composition, we're gonna start playing around with effects and effects controls and see how After Effects handles adding filters. With the layer selected, I'm gonna choose Effect, and we're gonna go down to Blur, and down to Fast Blur. Now a Fast Blur, obviously, is just a blur that allows us to blur our footage out. Now, you'll notice it gets a little dark around the edges, and we have the Repeat Edge Pixel option. And you'll see this Effects Control Panel popped up when I added the effect. Well, if you hit F3, that toggles that up or down. Now we can also add additional effects. So effect, color correction, say curves, and this allows us to adjust the brightness and contrast. Now the way the effects work are, if you move the fast blur after the curves adjustment, it will add itself afterwards. So as you can see, it does make a difference depending on the order of the effects. Now another way to add effects is using the effects and presets palette. What this allows you to do is find effects pretty quickly. So if I'm looking for a glow, I can type glow and our stylized glow filter pops up. Now to add this to our footage, we can drag it directly to the piece of footage or to the instance in the timeline. And what that will do is add it into the stack of effects. Now we can adjust the glow as needed. We can also shut effects off momentarily uh, while we're working. And of course there's you know, unlimited options for any one effect that we can change. For example, if we increase the glow threshold, it will only apply itself to the brightest pixels. So as you can see her dress and the sky is the only thing that's really emitting the glow where everything else is sort of staying unaffected. We can also delete effects by selecting them and hitting delete. We can also select effects and choose edit duplicate for multiple copies. Or if we're experimenting, we can duplicate it, shut one off, and play with it. And you know, if we don't like it, delete it, and then just turn the other one back on. Now there's a whole nother set of effects, and those are the generate effects. So with the layer selected, I'm gonna choose effect, generate, and in here we have a whole bunch of different effects. So a ramp is basically a gradient, and the gradient can be adjusted as needed. You can click on the color palette to change the color and even change the type of gradient to a radial ramp. This is good for making backgrounds and actually generating content in After Effects without any actual source footage. Now there's other effects such as generate lens flare and the lens flare as you probably know is sort of the uh, light blowing out the lens effect and there's a whole bunch of other effects that you can use inside of your project. Now let me quickly show you a few common ones. First, color correction, hue and saturation. This is a really good filter for colorizing your footage. So if I click on the colorize checkbox, everything now has a tint color of this sort of reddish brown. We can change the hue by clicking and dragging this parameter. We can also increase the saturation by clicking and dragging left to right. Now, say we want to go for a sepia look. Well, we can go to sort of an orangish yellow and bring the saturation down just a bit, and there we have it. We can also add this glow onto the clip, bring the threshold up a little bit, and increase the radius of the glow, and we've created sort of a uh, you know cool look to our video. Now, another popular effect is the effect color correction change to color. And what this allows you to do is pick a color, like her shirt, and change it to another color, like blue. So 
pretty powerful effect with a few options in the tolerance range to really refine how your selection is made. Now of course all of these effects are keyframable or animatable, so we can add a blur that starts out at zero and goes up to 50, or a brightness that starts really bright and comes back down. And that's what we're going to cover in the next segment on animation.